welcome back to my channel and thanks for being a part of my story. I'm Paige. I make lifestyle videos, a lot of them based on WW since I am doing the blue program. And today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. So it is about 10.30 right now. I am dressed and ready because I had a phone interview earlier. So I haven't ate yet. And no, this is not what I wore in my interview. I just changed because it's really hot and I didn't feel like being in dress clothes. But I'm not very hungry right now, so I think I'm just gonna go upstairs and make my coffee. If I get a little hungry, maybe have some grapes, but I think I'm gonna wait until lunch and see how that goes, because I think I'm going to start trying to intermittent fast. So, if you guys have done that, comment down below what you think, and I know grapes would kind of break my fast, but I'm a beginner, so <laughs> we're just gonna see how this goes. So I'm going to froth up my coffee just a little bit. I always set a napkin because I always end up getting it all over. And then next I'm going to take two of these one-fourth teaspoons and put this super creamer. This I found at my health food store. It is a little pricey and it's not my favorite, but it has that MCT oil in it. So I'm probably not doing this whole fasting thing right at all. <laughs> but like I said, I am a beginner and I literally cannot drink black coffee. I can't do it. Give us another little. It's a flavor, the sweet cream, and if you are doing keto, it is keto friendly, and that's the nutrition facts per three tablespoons. So that's pretty good if you get three tablespoons out of it because it makes it really creamy. I barely put any in mine like you saw. So this is what my coffee looks like. And I'm gonna drink this and we'll see how I feel around 12, see if I need a snack or anything or if I wanna have it. All right guys, so it is about 12.15 right now. I'm starting to get hungry. Reminder, I have been up since like 7.30 eight o'clock ish I just haven't been up in the kitchen or anything like that that's why I didn't make my coffee until 10 30 so I haven't ate since last night and I am starting to get hungry so I am going to make my brunch right now we're gonna have more breakfast foods than anything so let me show you what we're making the so first things first is I'm gonna make an egg scramble I have some white onion in here that I'm gonna chop up and get sauteing and then I add in some eggs, some sausage crumbles, and about one cube of these I chop up, and then the other six I eat on the side with my eggs. So let's get cooking. All right, so I got these onions cooking. I poured some water in there and put it on low because I really like to get them sauteed and soft before adding them into the eggs. It does take a little extra time, but I think it's I also it. sprayed in some of this butter before pouring in the water and added some garlic powder. Then after the onions have cooked down, I add in a fourth of a cup of the Jimmy Dean sausage crumbles, and that is three points, and I just let that warm up, and I'm going to add in my eggs now. 
And like I said, I put in one cube of cheese and then I just stir this all together. I also threw in some pepper and garlic powder. So I just make a little egg scramble out of it. Alright guys, so this is my brunch. So I have that egg scramble with the onions, sausage, and cheese. Then I have cheese on the side, bacon, pickles, grapes, and my water. So I'm just getting this plate as full as I can with good foods. That way it fills me up because I will not eat again until dinner. So possibly. We'll see how I do. Again, this is my first day doing intermittent fasting, so we'll see. But my egg scramble is three points. My cheese is three points. Bacon is one point. Pickles are zero. And grapes are zero. So this is a seven point brunch. It's almost three o'clock right now. So I am actually going to have a little snack. I am just a little bit hungry, not a lot. So let me go grab what I'm gonna snack what on. I'm having for snack. I have a fourth of a cup right here of almonds and then one teaspoon or sorry one tablespoon of dried cranberries so I'm just gonna put that in my bowl and these in my bowl so right here is a six point snack kind of higher than I would normally do but since I didn't eat three meals today it's worth it I have the points also while I'm just sitting here with my snack Obviously, you guys can tell that there's something going on. Because this is definitely a different video than I do usually. So, I have another, not surprise video, but I don't normally post on Mondays. And I actually will have a video coming out Monday explaining kind of things that are going on that are making me try intermittent fasting and continue it for the week too so I'll kind of update you guys on Monday how it's been going because there is some stuff going on that is going to be I don't want to say it's going to change my channel completely because it is not far from it there's just some stuff I really need to update you guys on so look for that video on Monday but I'm gonna eat the snack and then I will show you guys dinner later. So this is what I'm having for dinner, kind of a at-home chipotle bowl. So I have some fajita chicken, the Tyson strips. Then I have some, I really don't even know how to say it, bilar, something like that. I'll put it on the screen. Then I have some sauteed onions, some lettuce, salsa, and cheese. So all together, this is a six point meal. Three for the cheese and three for the grain. And I forgot to mention, this is Greek yogurt on the top for zero. So this looks so good. I'm really excited to eat it. So that burrito bowl is gonna end my night, you guys. My cutoff time that I am picking for the intermediate f fasting, if I said that right, <laughs> I still can't say it right, is eight o'clock and I'm really not that hungry for a snack. I'm just gonna drink water the rest of the night and then go to bed probably at 9, 30, 10, somewhere around there. So today went pretty well, I would say. I wasn't very hungry throughout the day besides the one time I needed a snack. Everything else filled me up. I lasted until 12.30 almost one o'clock for lunch. So I would say that's a success. I think the coffee, drinking coffee in the morning really helped hold me over a little bit and having that MCT oil in there gave it a little extra fat to help me hold over until lunchtime. Again, I will be updating you guys on Monday on why I'm trying this out and what's going on with my life and stuff like that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right now I do have a giveaway going on for all of my subscribers that you can enter for free. I will attach the video right up here. 
one of these sides <laughs> so you can go into that so don't giveaway. forget to subscribe and hit that like button and notification bell that way you're notified every time i upload on wednesday and saturday i'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>